Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom as I am catching up on Lucifer season three, episode 14. So the last episode is probably one of my most favorites. But, but the funny thing was, the funny thing, seeing it and editing it and seeing it again and I was laughing and it was just so, so much it was just so funny that I had forgotten that at the beginning of the season, the Sinner Man was introduced as this terrible, horrible, evil, bad guy just killing people, not willy-nilly, but willy-nilly. And even though it wasn't Cain, Cain had a, Cain Pierce had a part in those deaths and that darkness and that, ugh. And then we had funny ha-ha-ha. <laughs> How I am not sure how I'm supposed to feel towards Pierce and his protege, the guy that <coughs> Pierce knew him since a kid. Who who was he? What was his purpose? He went rogue. Why? To what end? Ha ah, ah, ah. <laughs> So while last episode was delightful, I don't know if it really fits in the context if you know am i am i making sense and mm, am i making sense am i making sense and i can kind of see why this is when maybe the network was willing to go eh, because i don't think the story creators had a good grasp of what season three was meant to be and the story they were telling because it feels like a whole lot of let's just throw kitchen sink at it yeah yeah, I don't think series now have the luxury of being able to find their way and try out different things. You have to know what you want your story to be. It's got to be done. We got to get it and grasp it and love it now. Now. And I think, especially when this came out, was probably in the time when that question and answer was getting muddied. Like, so did you like that they were canceled? No, but I can understand why. Because this season's a bit of a mess. But I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And I'm having fun with all of you. So I'm going to dive into it by, uh, what am I going to do? I don't know. So I'm, I have a little bit of water left. And I have been drinking a uh, limoncello spritzes. It was suggested to me by a Patreon and I had the ingredients and yes, I'm a couple in. So we'll, I just may be spouting gobbledygook out my face for the next 40 minutes. Fun. But if you want to watch the full episode, watch along and me doing this for a while, <laughs> please join me on Patreon where I would love to see you and you too can give me suggestions on what to drink. So if you're ready, I'm ready and let's get to it. <laughs> Who is this guy? He walked in with a very Lucifer swagger. What do you got for me? Jewels, money, guns. Diamonds. Or at least what appears to be diamonds. I said no phone. Sorry, it's just my sister. <gasps> Dude. Your sister's Dude. a cop. She works in forensics. Dude. Oh, this is Ella's brother. Why does he have it listed as LAPD and not sister or Ella? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Take off your shirt. In my quest to help you die, I've done some research. And I think the key mm -hmm. may lie in understanding the mark that my father... Was that his Achilles heel? I've read every book. I've analyzed every language. Well, have you ever let the devil take a gander? Didn't think so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's a code. It was the code the whole time. With the tattoo on top, the skull and the spears. Well, my body's constantly healing. I have to reapply the tattoo every few months. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, you hate living forever because you can't see how much fun it is. I'll never understand you. Oh, yeah, he is talking to someone who's also been immortal. Pre-Kane. Seriously? Well, it's worth a try. Gosh, this was much easier in the DVC. DVC? My research text, also a movie. Oh, by the way, Tom Hanks is a national treasure. Also a movie, not as helpful though. Your research is watching the Da Vinci Code. And the 
All right, evil man, evil. Sinner man, sinner man, evil. Right, okay. A good idea, you think it'll help? Well, we've grown much closer, he and I. <gasps> oh yeah, Manadil doesn't know Kane's around. Or like, like literally around. <laughs> wow. Trixie's got her own little demon blades. We're wearing the same shirt! Oh my god, they are. <laughs> Hey, Alan. Uh, Decker's not here. I'm uh, actually looking for you. Bounty hunting her brother. Oh. oh. Separate their Achilles first. If they can't walk, they, they can't, can't betray, betray you. Got it. Actually, that's a very good lesson. Very good lesson. Please, I need your help. I'll pay. Next time, leave with that. So. Does that mean you'll help me? No. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm intrigued by this episode already. I want to remove that curse which God placed on him for a very good reason. A minute, El, do you know who you're talking to? I thought we were getting along. I thought we were, well, brothers for once. We are, Lucy, but you're also my test. Oh, yeah. The test thing. So I need to protect you from yourself. Mm -hmm. I gave my word, brother. That's not my problem. True. True. This place belongs to a diamond dealer, a Reed Nasir. My brother is a diamond authenticator. I mean, it makes sense he'd be here. Is he for reals? For reals. Oh. No, 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 no. <sighs> what? <laughs> I mean, thank God it's my brother, but yeah. Too bad for this dude, but. Too bad. Thank you, big guy. Ooh. Ooh, in front of Maze. Instead, he might be the killer. True. True. Can't believe you called the cops. <laughs> Maze, for the last time, stop telling people not to call the cops. <laughs> but he might be in danger. Is this the brother who steals cars? Oh, no, Jay's the oldest, and you know how older brothers are. No. Oh. Oh, I'm an only child. Oh, right, Lucifer would know. The one we all looked up to. Really made me believe I could live a good life. Mm, well, that's what eldest brothers uh... want you to think. Always talking down to you from their pedestals that they put themselves on. But when you need them to help you kill someone, <laughs> where are they then? Hmm? Guys, if he was even here. He was here. Maze, I know you've got your source. Did he leave his wallet? Found his wallet. Maze, where did you get that? Oh, it was in the corner over there when we first walked in. Oh. Jay Lopez. Okay, so the only way to shoot from this angle further back would be if you were a lefty. Obviously, there must have been another person here. Okay, well, we'll start looking for this left-handed shooter, but. Maybe he shouldn't be on this case. It's best for everybody if you just step away from the investigation. I, I get it, but I'm gonna go and try to find Jay. He could be in danger. Okay, I'll call you if we find anything. And she's got Maze on her side. You know they're not stopping. Now that we're done with that charade, should we track down Miss Lopez's murderous brother before <gasps> she does? <gasps> Charlotte's visiting Dr. Linda. I've been through some time, but ooh. Lucifer mentioned that you worked wonders with him. I mean, you see some- Oh, and Linda's got having PTSD right now. Crazy, right? <laughs> oh, Linda. Is this where I start telling you what I'm going through? I think that I was in hell, reliving the same nightmare. I can't help you. But you took the appointment anyway, Linda. You need to leave. Of course. I'm so sorry to have- But you made the appointment, Linda. I really am beyond it. Help, aren't I? She was a victim too, Linda. Brothers. <laughs> Am I right? Mm -hmm. I get it, but ooh. I mean, you get it. You killed yours. I wish I had that option. <laughs> wow. That was dark. 
How do you know that he's God's favorite? Well, it's a long story involving a flaming sword and a space vagina. Space vagina. A quick version. But can you skip to the part where you help us track down Miss Lopez's disappointment of a brother? I thought we were looking for another suspect. We are. Despite Lucifer's attempt to make this case about what's going on with his own brother, you were saying, Dan? It would make sense to find a diamond in a broker's office, unless that diamond was reported stolen. Ooh. Fortunately for us, diamonds are pretty easy to track. How? Each one of them has a serial number laser etched into it. Wow. For reals? For reals? For reals? So what, he sells to them, uses that as a cover to case the joint, and robs it? Maybe. All right, well, maybe Freed had an accomplice. That could be our other suspect. They really etched the deep diamonds into diamonds? Now, that had to be a now thing, because that's not a technology you had however many years ago. Ah, oh, the diamond industry. Truly the greatest trick someone other than me played on the world. Ah, hello there. What is he eating? What is he eating? <laughs> We're engaged. Oh, how nice. <laughs> <laughs> I expect a, a much higher clarity, and, and the color here is ugh. Just, just a moment. Thank you. Well, how do you know so much about diamonds? Your mother. Well, I've watched enough Real Housewives to fake it with the best of them. <laughs> I was going to say, her mother was a much likelier candidate. Really? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll start to realize. Lucifer said that as if he knew. Obviously, these are inferior diamonds. I didn't know that my future husband was that cheap. I am not cheap. That diamond is of the highest quality. Let's see. Oh, that was one of our stolen ones. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I recognize the serial number. Mm, handy. This diamond is stolen you cheap son of a bitch well, I, for the last time i'm not cheap i'm gonna have to call the police oh yes please please call the cops huh. i no am not need to get the authorities involved oh. i'm tiffany james the owner there she is ta-da tell me exactly what it is you're looking for mr lopez how did you help jay lopez steal diamonds and murder farid nazir who's jay lopez wait Farid's dead. Stop prompting the witness. That's all he does. That's all he does is feed information unnecessarily. It's obvious that you're having some kind of fight with Amenadiel, but right now... Um, they're not seeing if she's got weapons under the desk. Tiffany, what is it you desire? to punch every millennial in the face. Oh, that's quite a desire. With their social consciousness and ethical issues, sales are way down because of them. <laughs> no one was supposed to get hurt. We just wanted the insurance money. Ah. Then why kill Fareed? I didn't. Fareed was supposed to sell the diamonds back to us after he cleaned them, but now... Clean diamonds change the serial number? Oh, why are we here? Jay would never, ever see in a place like this. You've never seen this guy, right? Have you seen him? <laughs> Unless you got a warrant, I ain't answering either of you. Good question. Ah, huh. Or good answer, I should say, until she beats the shit out of you. I can either break your arm, ah. or I can cut your maze. Do you have a brother, sister, anyone who you care about, who it would just kill you if you didn't know where they were? Threatening his family. Hi, Coraline. Ten bucks an hour ain't worth this. <laughs> oh, they got old school paper books? What? What? No Jay here. What? See? <laughs> oh no, Michael Knight. <gasps> Is that? For reals. Knight Rider. I got your text. What's wrong? Charlotte Richards. Oh, good, good. She took my advice. Why would you send her to me? Because you're the best. She tried to kill me. No. His mother tried to kill you. She's just an innocent woman who needs help. Yeah. <laughs> um. At least she didn't try and kiss you. Um. <laughs> 
This is Don Zeichel, the insurance adjuster that covers Tiffany James's store. I'm in your debt. It's rare we actually catch insurance fraud. He's guilty. We know he's the guilty one. Now that I've gone corporate, I just pay out the claims. Why is that? Well, it's practically an untraceable crime if the thief's got a cleaner. It's uh, someone who can replace the microscopic serial numbers on the diamonds. Like a diamond authenticator. Sure. Why, you know of an authenticator involved? Mm. You got any siblings? Thousands and thousands. You close to any of them? We mostly tortured each other. Oh, man, us too. But then, if I was ever in trouble, they always had my back. Whoa! I don't need to go all kung fu on this innocent door. I guess she'll just pick the lock. But there's another lock as well, Ella. There's another lock up top. Oh, ah! Jesus! Jay? Huh. So I finally get to meet the infamous. Oh, huh. But I can't help you. No, oh, come on, buddy. I just want to chat. Yeah? About what? The weather, sports. If by chance you have any idea how annoying it is to be an immortal human being, I can't say that I do. It's boring. Nothing surprises me anymore. Have you tried Game of Thrones? It's been a literal hell on earth. I think that was the point. That was the point. I've always wondered who your father would assign such an important task. It must have been someone he really trusted. Maybe his favorite son. Oh! Yeah. It was me. Oh! And you deserved it. Well, I didn't come here to argue right or wrong. In fact, I just need your help. You put this mark on me. Now you're gonna tell me how to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. That thought never even crossed my mind. Oh. The dead guy? Yeah. He was a gem broker I worked with in LA a few times in the past. A few times, oh. I was in the bathroom when it happened. You know how I get when I'm nervous? After I came out, I saw Fareed. He was dead. I was freaked out, so I bailed. Why is he in this hotel? Secret name, hotel. Is this after, after the incident? Look, I know that this is tough, but I think it's best if we talk to Jay first. So, have you had any luck finding him? No. No luck. She's, She's lying. lying. <laughs> if you were her, where would you guys go? Uh, strip club. <laughs> Comic-Con. Uh, a forensics convention. Strip club. <laughs> Why would Ella take her brother to a strip club? For the free buffet. <laughs> Do as you must, because I can't help you. You might not care if you get killed. Are you willing to let an innocent die for pride? Oh, this is when the sinner man comes into play. You wouldn't. I killed my own brother. What makes you think I wouldn't kill some random person to finally have peace? <gasps> Enough! But I was only the messenger of Pierce. I have no idea how to remove it. Actually, I believe you. So if he removes the mark, he's vulnerable. Everybody out! Now! I thought you wouldn't have been of any use, but I needed to make sure. So now what? Well, now I finally get to kick your angelic ass. <laughs> okay, I can see. Okay, okay. So after a millennia, Kane's a bit angry still. Holds a grudge. Your shuttle count's not bad. <laughs> Better than yours. <laughs> Now, can Amenadil kill him? Because he gave him the mark? And they don't know that? <laughs> Lucifer will be mad that he missed this. Don't make me do this. You what? You gonna kill me? <laughs> Does this do it? <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Don't think a little death is going to stop me. Did, did this not click for you, Amenadu? After I saw the gunman leave, I came out. If you saw him, you can identify him. <laughs> he wore all black and a ski mask. Think, there has to be something that you remember. 
the guy wore red wingtip shoes. Well, red's very specific. So you said you saw him from the bathroom, right? Jay, the door opens outward. It would have been impossible for you to see the killer standing over the body. Where's the stash room? If a is a diamond thief, he definitely have a stash room. Looks like laser engraving equipment. Is that what you were doing? Okay, fine. Oh, because he was in that room and not the bathroom. But it was a one-time thing. Ooh! Oh! Put the gun down. Wait! You don't have to do Douglas this! Lopez! You still think he's innocent? Wait, wait, he locked the door from the outside? <laughs> well, Ellen, it's been fun. <laughs> Jesus. He's not a murderer. He's like Harrison Ford, but less growly. <laughs> the whole police force thinks that he's guilty now. Because he kind of acted that way. You really don't care at all about helping me find my brother? You mean the brother who forged diamonds, pulled a gun on us? probably killed a guy and who's definitely been lying to you all this time? No, not particularly. Mm. Maybe you're right. Well, when put that way, maybe it was all a lie. But he's still her brother. No, but you know what? Family shouldn't do that to each other. I mean, shouldn't. I loved how she used that word, shouldn't. That was certainly exciting, wasn't it? Go ahead, say it. I told you so, your brother's a killer. Come on, say it, that you were right all along. He obviously lied about seeing the killer too. Not necessarily. What exactly did he say he saw? Uh, a guy wearing a mask and red wingtip shoes. Ooh, that's oddly strong footwear game for a murderer. I think I know who killed Freed. The other clone. Right before you killed him. Oh yeah, that's right. You're Fareed's diamond nerd. Insurance adjuster. This was a jump. You're gonna confess to the murder. Whatever you want. But so instead of telling the police this information, you're gonna hold the gun on the guy instead because that's gonna work out better. Call the cops. Sure thing. Uh, can I use your phone? Mine's dead. No. Call Never again. Never before, have you? Yeah, obviously. You're gonna kill me now too? No. You can take the Need you to clean take those the breath for it all. <laughs> oh Lux. Jeez, they're still going. They're still going. <laughs> so Amenadiel is also immortal, right? I don't think I remember them establishing Jesus that um if he's immortal or not, that he's fallen. <gasps> oh! Why is that there? That seems like a liability of insurance purposes. It's like I can see having him go all the way to the ceiling so he don't get behind the DJ booth, but... Notice anyone else in here plotted to kill his own brother? No, that was different. It was only different because you failed. We are nothing alike. Yeah. Oh, he's going this way. He's At least I had the balls out. to do it myself. You oh. pawned the task off on someone else. You're worse. Oh. And if this is punishment that I get for my crimes, what do you deserve? Oh. Not some little test. There it is, that look on your face. That's what I wanted. That feels good. Jake! Seriously, Ella, you saw that weren't immediately suspicious? Just leave her out of this. Sorry. She's seen my face. I think you're going get away. Ah, it's Mason for the win! But she left her calling card behind. Sold. <laughs> yep, just random blade out of thin air. And anyone could have thrown it. Crazy. The knife Ella, I know it was nice. <laughs> Chloe lives with. <laughs> She's not in trouble. She was just trying to protect you, right? She saved my life. But Jay's still going to go to jail for 
diamond fraud things. All he did was intend to change the serial numbers on the stolen diamonds. It's not a crime. Isn't that a misdemeanor, at least? This whole torrid affair started with a bag of stolen diamonds, so where are the diamonds? Well, we're still checking Zygol's stuff. I'm sure they'll turn up. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, she went to Charlotte's. Uh, did I forget something at your office? For a public defender, her office is very nice. I actually came to apologize. I was holding you accountable for things you simply didn't do. I heard you, didn't I, during my lost time? It wasn't you. So if you want to come back for a session, I'd, I'd like to try and help. You don't have to treat me. I think I do for both of us. <gasps> ah, the slow hand clap, it never gets old, does it? Oh, Lucifer. It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. It seems you're not quite as virtuous as your sister would like to believe. I didn't choose this. Well, the Armani suit must help ease the pain. I'm not perfect. But you like them to think that you are, when really you know better than them. Mm-hmm. You're going to tell, aren't you? All right, just let me do it. You're not going to tell her anything. Oh. And neither am I. But he'll make you pay still. Miss Lopez puts a lot of faith in you, and losing that faith would hurt her. And I won't allow that to happen. <gasps> I'll just take the diamonds. Get my act together, I promise. <gasps> no need to promise, Jay Lopez. Because I'll be watching you, and if you ever disappoint her again, I'll come for you. Now he would have had his devil face, but that face was pretty good. What does the other guy look like? Immortal? So that's why you wouldn't help. Didn't want to remove your handiwork. Father cursed him for a reason. <sighs> Working with him will only incur father's wrath. <laughs> what the? That's the bloody point! <laughs> You're just being a good older brother. Trying to protect me because you think I need protecting. Yes, that's right. Because I am my brother's keeper. I am grateful. Is that this alliance with Pierce will not end well. And all I'm saying is that if you continue to meddle, then you will be in my way. And that means what? I guess I'll be in your way. Hmm. Surprise, not surprised. Okay. <laughs> Through my lemon jello addled brain. Thought. Menadil. I am my brother's keeper. My job is to protect you. Did God say to him specifically, your job is to protect Lucifer from everything, including himself, even though he tried to kill him? I'd forgotten about that. Thank you, Pierce. I did like the little maze Ella side quest. And Ella putting the thought of, I love that phrasing, family shouldn't do that to each other. She didn't say family couldn't or wouldn't. They shouldn't, which infers that they shouldn't, but they do. I'm of the mind of, yes, family is important, but it's not the be all and every, everything. I am fortunate to have family that's great and wonderful. And do we have arguments? Rarely skirmishes, rarely more of annoyances sometimes than anything. But my family's pretty great. But I know people whose families are terrible and terrible and hateful and hurtful towards them. And just because you're blood related does not mean they have the right to treat you as less than a human being. So I get where Maze and Lucifer are coming through from is that even though they're my family doesn't mean I am obligated to do anything with them. You might have a second pause but you're not obligated. So the way she phrased that was fabulous. And then her brother was <laughs> just like all the rest in the end. And Lucifer wanting to protect Ella as if he were also her elder brother. I think he unintentionally or unknowingly, he took the place of her other, older brother, but she doesn't know it yet. And I don't think Lucifer recognized that, but he did in that moment 
where he confronted Jay. He took Jay's place. It's great. And because Aminadil was the one to give Cain the mark, what that mark means, and if it's removed, then Cain is then in, is now vulnerable. And I also, at the point, if Cain were to die to the rest of the world, they wouldn't know. Would there be a ripple? It would end, end Cain's punishment. But the rest of the world, I don't think, in general, not Chloe, whatnot, would notice. There's a lot of existential thoughts, and I don't think I have the brain power to go over them right now. And Linda and Charlotte. I had forgotten that Linda and Charlotte had not crossed paths in a while. Will we see more of them going forward? It would be interesting, though, to see Linda with Kane, Pierce Kane. <laughs> So there we go another episode of lucifer thank you so much for being with me on this adventure i appreciate each and every one of you the funny thing is is the more we go along i know the closer we're getting to the end although we have a lot to go we do have a lot to go so never mind never mind i want you to be there with me for all of those future stories and plus others so if you haven't already please hit subscribe and until the next time please try to stretch just try to stretch attempt to stretch do some neck rolls i'm so tense in my shoulders right now so i feel as if you are all as well so do what you can to make yourself feel good and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again you all and until next time